Electric Company is all set to open its latest shop right here in Sacramento. Pretty exciting. These machines have some unique features, to say the least. Yes, emphasis on the least. Nate Baggio <laughs> joins us uh, once again with how these buses differ from what we're used to. We want to see the guts, Nate. Yes. Hey, Nate, can you hear us? Good morning, yes. Okay, so what, what are you doing? plugging in there? Yeah. And it's that simple. Oh, <laughs> and it's that simple. Yeah, there's there's no going to the fueling station. Uh -huh. There's no you know standing waiting for all the diesel fuel to go on the bus. You plug it in, you walk away, and, and now, it's good to go. It's not a normal outlet like what I use for my straightening iron, right? <laughs> it's something a little bit more powerful, I'm guessing. I don't I don't know what kind of straightening iron you use, but if you have a, a Nissan Leaf or good point uh, or a yeah, or a standard, you know, electric. It's the same. You can go to the grocery store and plug this bus in. That's crazy. It is a standard is plug in. And so, how yeah. long? How long does it take to fully charge, you know, so that the drivers can do their full route what, as many times as they need in a day? Well, the great thing about this bus is on a single charge, it will go 155 miles, wow. so which covers your your daily school bus route. Uh -huh. So, and it's and it is a different charger than you have at the the grocery store. If right. you plug it in at the grocery store, it's going to take a little while. Uh, but the ones that you're going to have at the school bus yard, uh, depending on the range that you buy, uh, it will take hours. But you can do it between routes. You can do it in the evening. Uh, so you have some flexibility there, and and it's different than diesel. You don't have to sit there and top it off. You can opportunity mm -hmm. charge yeah. and do a little bit here and a little bit there, and it extends your range throughout the day. Hey, Nate, I'm curious. I keep noticing that the bumper on the front of the yes. bus is blue. Is that for a reason? Yeah, the uh, electric school bus, they're working on it here in the state of California to make all of the bumpers blue so that you know it's an electric school bus oh, when you approach okay. it. Okay. Uh, you know, every, everybody wants to keep students safe, so if uh, somebody hit a school bus, first responders know exactly what they're dealing with and, uh, and can respond accordingly. So it's just uh, something that we're pushing to really designate the electric school bus because there are going to be so many more of these on the road. Uh, in the coming year, as soon as 2019. I love oh. this idea. I used to have an electric car, so yeah, I want to see the inside here because it's not a typical motor you're going to get on the inside of that. Tell us how the inside looks and, and what we're looking at. Yeah, well, the first thing you notice is there's no engine in here. Right. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's wires, it's, you know, there's not much in here. Um, and the batteries are all in the middle. The actual motor that makes it go is actually in the middle of the bus in between the frame rails. And uh, here it's just a, a charger, a few things. Um, there, there is some coolant that runs in here because keeping battery temperature optimal mm -hmm. is, oh, yeah. is important with Definitely. electric vehicles. But uh, it's very, you, there's no belts. There's no place to put in oil, transmission fluid, because uh, it doesn't use any of those things. Cool. Uh, it's a very simple, efficient machine. Uh, and as, a, as you noticed earlier in the, in the show, it's quiet. Absolutely. Yes. And no sticky stuff coming out the back end. Right? Nate Baggio, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us with uh, Lion Electric. Again, Twin Cities uh, or Twin Rivers Unified School District has yeah. right now the largest concentration of these electric buses in their in their fleet. So mm -hmm. we'll see more and more, I'm sure. Yeah, no doubt. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, how about this? The local tap house is hosting adult trike races. Love it. <laughs> Later this hour, Cody Stark's going to preview the event and take a spin on the course himself. Oh, boy.